بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم ماہ شرازی یور کمپیوٹر ٹیچر اینڈ دس از دی اسائنمنٹ نمبر سکس آف گریڈ نائن اینڈ ان دی لاسٹ اینڈ پریویس لیکچر وی ور اسٹڈنگ دا چیپٹر نمبر ٹو دیر واز فنڈامنٹلس آف آپریٹنگ سسٹم سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو دیٹ چیپٹر فرام پیج نمبر فورٹی فور اینڈ دا ٹاپک از گیٹنگ اسٹارٹیڈ وتھ جی یو آئی آپریٹنگ سسٹم سو بیسکلی اے جی یو آئی آپریٹنگ سسٹم پرووائڈس اے یوزر فرینڈلی انٹرفیس اینڈ دس میکس اٹ ایزیئر فار دا پیپل ود لٹل کمپیوٹر اسکلس ٹو آپریٹ دا کمپیوٹر بیسک آئیکنس آف جی یو آئی آپریٹنگ سسٹم نمبر ون از ری سائیکل بن دا سیکنڈ ون از کمپیوٹر آئیکن تھرڈ ون از فولڈر آئیکن ففتھ ون از فائل آئیکن سکس ون از پروگرام آئیکن and the seventh one is shortcut icon i'm going to explain these icons little bit recycle bin is basically a temporary place for items that the user deletes from the hard disk computer icon allow the user to access the contents of the computer drives and manage files and other folders folder icon resembles a physical file folder and it is used to store files a folder can have and other folders inside it which is known as subfolders now when we talk about the file icon then in a gui files are also represented by icons and a file may contain text image music or a video program icon executable program files are also represented by icons and different graphical symbols are used for different program icons shortcut icon shortcut icons are created to access a program file or folder quickly managing data managing data means storing files in secondary storage devices such as hard disk or usb flash drive in an organized way This helps in finding files easily and quickly. Files are stored in folders. The documents folder in the Windows is the default folder where the user save the files. File management tools of GUI operating system provide facilities to quickly and easily create folders and copy or move files into them. It also allows the user to delete files and folders that are not needed anymore. Now the next topic is system installation. A computer system consists of hardware and software before the use of computer user must install the operating system and other required software. I am going to insert a video here so it will help you to install the Windows 10 operating system. Hello everyone, it's MD Tech here with another video. Today I will be doing a demonstration of performing a format and clean install of Windows 10. Now even though this is Windows 7 right now, the computer that we are currently on, the method demonstrated in this video applies to all versions of Windows. If you are upgrading from Windows XP or you are performing a clean install on a fresh new hard drive, this method would apply. So at this point we are assuming that you already have a bootable DVD or CD of Windows 10. The ISO file is available on the Microsoft web page freely. You just need to have a valid product key when installing Windows 10. So before you get going, just make sure you have a valid Windows 10 product key because the clean install is different than the upgrade. It's very important to note that there is a way to clean the system once you've upgraded, which is a free upgrade for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users for the first year. But if you're looking to perform a clean install from the get-go, the method I'm showing, you will need to have a Windows 10 product key. So basically, we already have the DVD in our optical drive. We're going to restart the computer. Click on the escape key. Under the boot menu, I'm going to go down to CD-ROM. I'm going to select that, press any key to boot from the CD or DVD, and click on the key. Okay, so now after clicking on CD slash DVD, now depending on your computer's manufacturer, the key might be different. I was just tapping on the escape key to get to that menu. Now we see we have a Windows set up here. Now definitely install the correct language, uh, time and currency format, and keyboard or input keyboard or input method, make sure it's all your localized region, click on next, 
You want to install now. There's a repair now option as well, but we're just going to install Windows 10. Okay, so like I said earlier, we have to enter a product key if we're going to do a clean install. Now you want to click on next. You want to make sure you agree to the licensing terms, the end user license agreement. Click on next. Now what type of installation do you want? Now we're going to do a custom installation, which will do a clean install. So we're going to select custom. Now we see our main hard drive here, drive zero, partition one. We haven't created a separate partition on the computer, so we're just going to install, there only should be one drive on here. If there's, there's multiple drives, like let's say you have other devices or external hard drives plugged in, just go with what logically makes the most sense. If you see a drive with 500 gigabytes compared to one with 10 gigabytes, I mean, just use the one that makes more sense. Put it on the 500 gigabyte hard drive. So we're going to click on next. Now click on OK. Right now it is installing Windows and I will be back once this process is done. Alright everyone, the setup has moved on to the next stage and now Windows is getting ready. Okay, so now we have a prompt here, get going fast, we can either install using express settings or we go through customized settings. I would highly recommend using customized settings and picking and choosing what you want to share with Microsoft. I mean, in my personal opinion, you'd be surprised with what Microsoft is enabling by default. I would suggest using customized settings going through that but I'm just going to use express settings to keep this review moving. Alright, so right now it's in the final steps of installing Windows 10 and I will be right back. Okay, so now we are prompted with who owns this PC. Most individuals that are watching this video are going to say I own it and click next. Now it's just personalizing some more settings. And now we can create a Microsoft account. Uh, we can skip this step, and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, in this review, I'm gonna skip this step and instead create a local account. I'm just gonna do temp. Okay, so now the computer has restarted successfully. We have Windows 10, uh, clean format and install. Everything is good to go. Please ignore the system time in the bottom right corner. The whole process only took about 30 minutes or so, so very quick in my opinion in terms of installation, especially when comparing to installing Windows 7 or Windows 8, which I've noticed to take considerably longer, upwards of an hour or more was the method of installing your windows operating system that was windows 10 i hope so that it will be easy for you to install the windows now the next topic is installation of antivirus software so antivirus basically the first antivirus software was developed by burnt fix in early 1987 to remove the vienna virus so basically antivirus are very important softwares they are used to remove the errors or the viruses which entered into your computer so how to install that antivirus software there is a video attached here it will help you install the antivirus software back with another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can download and install avg antivirus for free on your windows 10 
So that's been said. Let's get started. So to install AVG antivirus on your Windows 10 for free, first we have to download the AVG software. So to download the AVG software, just open your favorite browser and search for AVG. And here you find AVG 2018 free antivirus. Just click on this link. Don't worry about the link. Link will be on the description box. So this is the official website of AVG antivirus software. So this AVG antivirus software is available for mobile, PC and Mac OS. And you can also use this AVG antivirus software for business purpose. So let us download the free version of AVG antivirus. For that, just go to PC and here you find drop down menu. So from the drop down menu, select AVG antivirus free. And down here you will find what is the difference between the free version and the paid version. So these are the features you get in the free version and these are the features which you get in the paid version. If you want to buy ABG antivirus then you can buy the software for $80 per year. So for now we are not going to buy the software we are just downloading the ABG software for free. For that click on free download. So here you can see that ABG antivirus free.exe file is downloading and it is around 7.2 MB. So it will take some time so after the download has been completed I will show you how you can install ABG software on your Windows 10. And also in the website you find steps to install AVG software on your windows. The download has been completed so let us open the file. To open the file just click on this .exe file. Then click on yes and here we find the installation wizard so let me minimize my browser. And here you can see that AVG antivirus free is installing on windows 10. And this is the setup window so to install AVG antivirus for free just click on this install button. And here you can see that it is installing and it says your AVG antivirus free installation is in progress. So let me complete the installation. So here you can see that AVG antivirus software is installed on Windows 10. So let me click on continue. Here we have protect your mobile for free. So I had already told you that AVG antivirus is also available for mobile platform. So if you want to download AVG software on your mobile phone then you have to enter your email address. So if you don't want to download AVG software on your smartphone, just click on no thanks, I don't want to protect my phone now. Here we get AVG antivirus free. So you can use this software to protect your computer from viruses. In the free version of AVG antivirus, you find computer protection and web and email protection. You don't find hacker attack protection, privacy protection and payment protection. So if you find this software a useful software then you can upgrade to the paid version and to scan your computer just click on scan computer. It will scan your computer. So this way you can install AVG antivirus software on your Windows 10 for free. So that's it for this video. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you in next video. Now I think that both of the videos are very useful for the students who the beginners. Students now your chapter number 2 has been ended. Now there is an exercise on page number 61 there are some MCQs present. You need to solve these MCQs it will be easy for you because we have uh, learned this chapter in a very detailed manner so you can easily solve it. After that on page number 62 there are some short questions. Why operating system is important software for computer? Give any few objectives of operating system. Mention few disadvantages of using DOS, DOS. Name two operating systems which are used in modern mobile phones. And what difficulties a student may face if he or she is not familiar with operating system of a computer. Define Unix and Windows operating system. Differentiate between single user and multi user operating system. What is meant by managing data and why is it important? What is meant by resource of the computer and what types of problem may be a student face if no antivirus is installed in his computer? All the answers are present in this chapter. Just read the question, go to the respective topic and search the respective answer and write it down on your copy. After that, write long answers of the following question. Long answers are also present on your notebook. 
explain the main functions of operating system, describe the following computer interfaces, command line interface, graphical user interface, menu driven interface, describe the following types of operating system, batch processing system, time sharing system, real time system, write notes on Macintosh and Linux operating system, describe the basic icons of Windows operating system. So all of these questions we are familiar with. We have learned about them. I have taught you everything about it. So I hope so that you can easily uh, solve these questions and do it on your copy. Now the second chapter has been ended. Inshallah in the next class we will start our next chapter. Till then take care of yourself and Allah Hafiz.